All right, we got Rob. That's right. Okay. Um, so we got Rob Brawler. Okay. Um, you know, Rob is going to be a character that Scoops is familiar with at the level that they're at. Um, yeah, and there's quite a bit of, like, Robs within Indiana, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. And uh, the Brawler could <laughs> definitely get scary. I thought Bro was holding the fist out for a fist I bump. I, I was so like, I was like uh, poor guy. Uh, guys. <laughs> There we go. All we're right. Chilling, He's not leaving chilling. them hanging. Thank the heavens. We're chilling. Oh, my that gosh. That would have been some crazy disrespect out of the gate. I don't even know how to commentate like. that. <laughs> <laughs> a little icy in here. Yeah, definitely a little frosty, but no, <laughs> they're, getting, they're getting right into it, I think. Uh, Rob Brawler, I mean, Rob definitely has the hitboxes and the item play to and uh, edge guarding to make Brawler's life a little bit of hell. Yeah. But Brawler has the confirms and the grab game and all of oh, that yeah. stuff to make well, Rob's life hell. So. Even then, depending on the set, you have like a lot of mix-up options in your recovery. You got mm -hmm. burning drop kick. Right. So like you're course. saying, like you always have that on deck. Flip kick being the like biggest one. If it if it's good enough for ZSS, it's good enough for me, Brawler. Right. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Um, and starting off on PS2 here, let's get right into it. Um, so some little tricky fake outs from Anchovies, just short hopping in place, faking like he's going to throw the gyro, but doesn't. Yep. Um, and not really much started yet. Okay, we got the gyro catch from... Uh, I am kind of curious how Scoops is going to utilize that, but you know what? Right now, getting the call out on the dog. Yeah. They just get the, uh, get the confirms there. All right, down... Okay, all right. I, I feel like Anchovies has, is really feeling out scoops here, like doing a normal combo starter and then waiting and seeing what they do. Um, which early in the set, I definitely respect. Scary port smash, yeah. almost getting let rip, but you know what, Scoops getting on through. Ooh, Scoops had the idea with catching the spot dodge with the up air, just mistimed it a little bit. Yeah. Um, trying to cover with this shot put, but Rob just, just avoiding enough to get away, and it's pretty pretty even. Uh, Me Brawl is pretty light, but I think it'll still be, okay, that around, okay, yeah, at, at this percent, it's now completely even, yeah. so. <laughs> Commentator's curse, baby. Oh yeah, every time, every time. Um, I like how Scoops has been utilizing jump right. Dude, right as I wanted to mention it, <laughs> look at that. He does that empty land. It's been a very, like, curious way of play where I'm like jumping full hop, I'm jumping mm -hmm. short hop, and at all times, it's just, trying to make this question of how does Scoops want to utilize the air mobility. Absolutely. And Yin, you called it. Uh, Scoops going for that variation in recovery option with the burning drop kick as opposed to suplex for this matchup. Um, Ooh. And just like that, oh my gosh, what a call out. out of the park, baby. Yeah, look at that. And uh, this set went from being tied at 116 on the first stock to, okay, now two stocks to one with that classic uh, confirm. But I know fun little fact for anybody who doesn't know, Gyro sends whatever direction Rob is facing when he throws it. So that's mm. why you saw Antrobies go ahead, reposition, throw it down. That way it sends right into that up smash. But you know what? That being said, Scoops throwing that shot put right out. Don't need to think that hard on uh, where it's going to land. Just send it and get some free damage. Absolutely. Can be used as a projectile. Can be used as a combo starter. You can hide behind it. It's honestly a really it's a pretty good projectile. Pretty underrated one. Yeah, overall. absolutely. Ooh, good in air to get on through. But you know what? Look, I love that BDK movement within neutral yeah. even to get those call outs. That was really sick. And I mean, again, from the beginning of the, from the first set we saw with Scoops, you were calling that some tricky stuff could be done with that burning drop kick. And there's that up air. I was going to say, Scoops was really trying to get an up tilt, a falling up air to yeah. confirm into the up B. And he's able to find it. Those moves are safe enough that you're able to pull that off. So I think the nice thing, especially with Brawler against Rob, is Rob wants to maintain some aerial play at times if mm -hmm. he wants to get his biggest openings, right? Right. The nares, some of the landing up airs, you know, some of the fairs even buy some space. And so ultimately, you can go ahead and get some call outs with some quick short hop landings with uh, up air to get those kills. Absolutely. And you're exactly right, and we saw it go so well for Scoops there that game. Going into Hollow Bastion for game two. Um, yeah, we, I, I believe that this came into play earlier. This uh, this middle platform can definitely be good for Brawler. Yep. Um, I think ultimately, it's if you play too antsy in the jungle game as anchovies, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you're gonna get caught up with some early up tilt, some other up airs. But on the bright Ooh. side, it's not as uh, good of a layout for a brawler to always get those top kills, so. Absolutely, and honestly, we're already seeing Anchovies use this center platform really well. Just kind of the way that uh, Scoops was using the PS2 platform to hide on and throw some shot puts. Uh, Anchovies for a second there was throwing out the gyros and the lasers. Um, I almost had to shut up again because I thought that Scoops <laughs> was about to take him to the top, but Anchovies has another lease on life here. 
looking not too unhealthy. Ooh, and right as you say is. that, Ollie, he uh, yeah. <laughs> punches him out. Now right though, down for cover. Yeah, yeah, that that's gonna be. And a you thing. know what? We trade for trade. Trade for trade, just like that. Uh, I will say, Anchovy's kind of had some good momentum early on, and it's already even again. Oh, guess the gyro hit insult to that injury was, there. That was tight. I like that. Yeah. BDK to go ahead, get on through, get some extra damage. Yeah, and he's using that that uh, kick in, in some really interesting ways to just as like an entry option. We you called him out using it last game, and there it is again. Um, and it's, it's just worked. a good move. It is. It's a much better move than I gave it credit for. Ooh, Ooh, we're going the up there, though. though. Amazing move too to get those swings. Yeah, I like the. I also like the down air usage as sort of a stall and also throwing yeah. out this master of hitbox below you, recognizing that. Scoops wants to be below you, uh, using it to sort of cover yourself. And there's the neutral get up caught with another bear. Okay, Anchovy starting to heat up a little bit, which this would also be a crazy upset that Anchovies is setting up for 57th versus 9th seed This here. would be crazy. And Anchovies is looking pretty good so far. Honestly, it's been looking good this entire set. Scoops got, get, got the better of him in that first game. But uh, right now... I love how Anchovies is not going near that platform. Yeah, no, I'm not playing with that. Yeah, look at that, just jumps out, doesn't worry about air dodging. That is the thing. Once you hit those higher percents, sometimes you're really scared of the combo, and so you just air dodge, but Anchovies having good recognition, unable to punish that flip jump. I think had the right idea with the high call out, but uh, Scoops is able to avoid it. Ooh, nice little stall with the back air, yeah. too. And there's the call out, though. Yeah, no, you start hitting those percents, all of a sudden you make a misstep in jump on landing on shield. You're getting called out and you are dropping that stock, but right now, playing nice and patient, gets the Nair just for a little bit of extra damage Ooh. and more importantly, breathing room. Yes, but definitely. Scoops. Just a little bit of a get off me. Yep. Scoops has got, has squashed all that breathing room right now, though. Yeah, with this ledge trap. Oh, and there's the falling up there. So good at landing them. Um, I mean, it's a really good move, obviously. Oh, now oh, yeah. we got the gyro. Ooh, the landing back air to go ahead, reposition it, and look. Oh my god, why did you Dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I thought that was going to hit. The cojones. You know what? I'll give it up, Anchovies. You got it. Yeah, like, it worked out. Oh, that looked a little dicey for a second, but Scoops does get the drift. Got to watch out for this back air that's taken both of the previous stocks, or just the up smash call yep. out. Anchovies doing a really good job to go ahead and secure that game, too. Of course, got a really good lead overall, but yeah. it looked like for a second, Scoops was going to bring it back is Anchovies, despite having like almost a full minute of play with being up the stock, only got that 37% yeah. of extra credit. Really impressive composure, like like you were saying from Anchovies. I feel like usually in these big seeding, like potential upset scenarios, you see the top, the higher seeded player, the top player clutching out those situations, but amazing composure from Anchovies. Um, and I would Going be, I, I honestly. I don't know what's going to happen in this game three. Interesting for the Hollow Bastion pick. Maybe Scoops I, has some ideas. J just going off the dome, mm -hmm. like based on the bands and everything, there's Smashville Town left, mm -hmm. which makes these much higher uh, blast zones up top. And so, mm -hmm. you know, you aren't going to get those kills as early. Kalos, you know, you just give Rob the opportunity to get a little bit better edge guards. And once again, not quite the platform layout you want for combo. So overall, yep. Probably the best stage layout. Yeah, you know. yeah, absolutely. You know what? When you put it that way, I told it totally makes sense. This is this is why they pay him the big bucks, guys. <laughs> oh, man, man, I wish I was getting bigger <laughs> bucks, bro. This is big bucks. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but speaking of big bucks, Scoops is trying to better his chances of getting some. Better their chances of getting some here. Um, and off to a good lead on this Hollow Bastion game three. Uh, sort of the opposite of what we saw the last game where uh, Anchovies had a pretty clear game plan that worked. Oh, amazing DI. Dude, that came so close. As you said, just that DI coming in clutch, but now locked off stage. What can you do here to get around Scoops, who has been so dangerous in the corner? Ooh, and Anchovies got a little antsy going for that up smash, but still getting the damage. Now, how... Do you find the kill? You That's do it like how. that. You do it exactly that like that. That is definitely how, Ollie. Asked and answered. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we ladder into the top, baby. Absolutely, we are. And oh, getting. The, okay, wow. Good jump out because getting that throw underneath the platform could have spelled a lot of damage if uh, Scoop's got a little platform reset yep. there. Um, Anchovy's slowing things down a little bit, sort of hanging out in the mid range, tossing, sort of hopping in with a forward air, tossing out a gyro here and there. Yeah, Ooh. that is the nice thing. Ultimately, I think you have a little bit more Ooh, range that control. Is... Don't matter. Don't, Don't matter. matter. There's what I thought was maybe going to happen with the previous crowd, but this <laughs> time gets it. This time definitely got it. 
And now we're going for a little bit of a ride oh, here. Look at that the gyro I, I, trying to set up into confirm. Oh, I was I was thinking run up there. <laughs> but it scoops to go big with you it. You were like, give me give me a little bit of uh, flavor to that play right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, he's still using the same gyro. <laughs> Dude, that gyro has done so much work for Scoops. Oh my gosh, yeah. Just, and there's the burning dropkick. What a call out, and that's brutal damage. Oh my gosh, after that game two where Anchovies was looking so good, Scoops has completely smothered them Dude, here. And he's look not at playing. that connection. He's not playing He around. didn't get a chance. That was a completely different game than game two. He had to remind him what was up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The. The juggles, the usage of that center platform that yeah. game was amazing. We didn't see those little double up airs into up Bs at all in game two, but in game three, we saw a couple setups where Scoops went for it. Didn't work the first time, but the second time was able to sort of read the DI out and uh, get that game closing kill. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> that was oh, impressive absolutely. from Scoops. Starts it out nice and quick, gets that somersault kick into Thrupper, and then look at this setup here. Gets the up double air. up air, as you up said. Air. Finally finds that utilization of the platform that is really necessary to find some early kills if you're wanting to, you know, take me brawler to the peaks. Absolutely, and it's that spacing, right? Mm -hmm. Like the little adjustment made from the first time he tried, they tried that combo, where this time they dashed a little bit forward after the second up air to get that up B. Completely got the DI locked down, yep. and yeah.